Hey guys, I want to show you something really cool today. It's the Epson Muverio BT200 Android video glasses. Uh, and these work great with the Phantom Vision or the Phantom Vision Plus. A few weeks ago I got an email from prelaunch.com asking me if I'd be interested in checking a pair of these out and maybe giving one away on Phantom Pilots. And I, after looking at the specs I said, absolutely, I'd love to check them out. Now I've never even had FPV goggles before. I've always had either FPV screens or tablets or phones paired with visions. I've never tried them before. The reason why I haven't been interested in FP, FPV glasses is that I didn't want to totally be enclosed and uh, separated from the rest of the world. I wanted to be able to see where my phantom was flying. I wanted to be able to see obstacles and things like that around me. Um, Epson has absolutely answered that problem right here with these glasses. Not only do you get the live image of your phantom that's pushed through the app, so the live FPV feed, real time, but you also can see around you what's going on. You can look up in the sky and you see a huge widescreen image of your app with the live video, but you can also see your phantom flying around. It's absolutely incredible. I've been flying it for about a week now. I've been showing it off to my neighbors and friends. Uh, everybody's excited about it. And there's a couple of guys I know that fly phantoms already said they're ordering these. They're ditching their uh, iPad minis and they're going with the Moverio system. So you get a nice case, uh, absolutely, from Epson. And open it, open the, the case up, and what, what's going on in here is, again, the Moverio system is complete. You don't have to go out and pair this to a phone or a tablet or buy an Android device or buy something that you don't already have. Once you buy this, you have everything. This is the base unit, and it has the battery, the processor. This is running Android 4.0. It, you load the app on here, and control the app through this touchpad. And this isn't actually a screen, this is just a touchpad. Your screen is inside your glasses. So all you do is you take the glasses out and connect with one connection. There's no separate video and power wires, it's just one nice connection to the base unit. And then you turn the top on to start it up. And it boots up. It takes about 30 seconds to boot up. Now while it's booting up I'll show you Right now it has a, one of the more clear lenses on it. Epson actually gives you a couple different options. They give you a prescription lens mount that you can put prescription lenses in. And they also give you a dark shaded mount for flying on sunny days. I've been using this. It works great. Uh, it's fully shaded. allows you to look up in the sky and see your phantom. But again, you see this giant, huge FPV screen of your app right next to it. Now after, after the Epson system boots up, all you do is look through the glasses and then use the, your thumb on the touchpad to select your Wi-Fi network. Of course you would take your Vision Plus controller or Vision controller, turn on your Wi-Fi repeater, which will generate a network, and then because the Epson has Android built in and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in, you just look through your glasses, connect to the Wi-Fi network for the Phantom repeater, and good to go. Then you launch the DJI Vision app and now you're, you're controlling the Vision app just like you would on a tablet or a phone that you might already have. Um, so then you could just put clip this on the repeater. You could also turn this sideways which will let you use your thumb a little bit better. I found it a little easier to turn it sideways um, and then as you're flying you can go up here and adjust your camera up and down, start and stop the app, start and stop the camera, change your settings, etc., just like you would on a phone. Now I've been flying this for the last week, like I said. It's really incredible. You have a great huge FPV screen in front of you, uh, and you can see your phantom flying around at the same time. It's really nice to avoid obstacles, just see where your phantom is. Uh, the resolution is great. It's not true HD, but you wouldn't be able to tell that through the glasses. It looks very sharp, very bright. Even on a sunny day, it's very bright looking up there, and you're getting a big widescreen image. There's only two little screens in the glasses, but when you look at it with both your eyes, you're getting a huge widescreen image that's just floating up in the sky. It really is crazy. It looks like something out of Minority Report or something that's very futuristic. I've showed it off to a lot of people and everybody's really blown away by the image quality. Of course, since you're running Android, you don't have to use these just for the Phantom. It's running Android 4.0, so you can put any most any Android app that you want. Uh, I put Netflix on here, I put HBO Go on here. I use them to browse the web. Uh, I laid on the couch the other night and watched a movie 
streaming through Netflix over these. It works great. It really does work great. Um, of course, with the unit, you get it does come with headphones. So you just pop your headphones in right here, and you can clip these on if you if you want. And you've got great stereo audio while you're watching your movie. So this isn't going to show off the quality of the video by any means, but I, I just wanted to show you guys what you're looking at here. This is just the home screen of Android uh, when you start up the video glasses. And of course this is just one of the screens. There's two screens, you know, one on each side. So my lens, my camera is just pointing at one of them, but this is just a home screen uh, that you'd be looking at. So you can see that you're seeing the screen floating in the air uh, and then ev you're seeing everything around it. But it doesn't, it looks way bigger than this when you're actually looking through the glasses. It's way bigger than this. It looks like a, if you look up in the sky while you're looking at your Phantom, it looks like it's a, you know, 100 inch screen floating in the sky. It's really neat. Alright guys, just a few more things about the uh, Muverio BT200s. Very impressive image quality. Uh, everybody I showed them to was blown away by the sharpness of the image and the brightness of the image, even when you're outside in sunny weather. Uh, and even when you have all that light coming in as well. Alright guys, just a few more things about the uh, Muverio BT200s. Very impressive image quality. Uh, everybody I showed them to was blown away by the sharpness of the image and the brightness of the image, even when you're outside in sunny weather. Uh, and even when you have all that light coming in as well. A few things to, to note on these is uh, it, things like text entry. If you're going to use this as you know connecting to your network, putting passwords in, things like that, it's tedious because you're just using a touchpad and entering in the characters one at a time. It's not, you don't actually have the use of a real keyboard uh, to use, and I don't know that there's a way to hook that up. Um, another thing is the Google Play Store. I wasn't able to put the Google Play Store on there to buy apps for it. Now. I'm not an Android expert, so there may be a way to do that through some kind of hacking, but I didn't see an easy way to do that. To get the DJI Vision app, you have to sideload it. It's not that hard of a process. Uh, it just took me a few minutes to figure that out, but you do have to sideload that app. Uh, other things that are cool is Epson is developed. This has head tracking built in. So Epson is encouraging developers out there to use an API to... Uh, see things that could work for this in the future with head tracking. Now obviously what you're, you're thinking right now is I want to be able to turn my head back and forth and have my Vision Plus camera move back and forth up and down. Is that possible? Not today, but we hope so in the future. Uh, I know Epson is probably working with DJI. You gotta think they are to, uh, to show off this product and say and to get the uh, Android app more in line with the capabilities of this. Um, there's also a camera built in that you can access takes videos and stills which is neat and how they can incorporate that into um, your Vision Plus where you could record videos while you're looking at your Phantom flying around and the onboard camera mixing those two together with the app I thought would be a cool possibility as well uh, but again these are really neat they're a great tool for your Phantom Vision to allow you to see FPV while still seeing your Phantom Plus you get all the great benefits of Android, being able to use these. You could use these on an airplane to watch a movie. Uh, it does have a memory card slot so you can load up your favorite TV shows and movies and uh, watch those as well. Uh, it's expensive, $699, but the kind of guys that are running Phantom Visions and Vision Pluses, you're pretty much an early adopter group, so this is something neat that you, uh, I would definitely consider spending your money on or trying out. And uh, they're just going to get better. I know Epson is working really hard on the software and they'll keep improving them. So thanks for watching my video guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.